Hey guys, it's Becky and today I'm reviewing The New Dark by Lorraine Thompson. Sorrel lives in an apocalyptic world where mutants exist. The mutants are just disfigured humans which are often killed at birth. The world is a really hostile place. The mutants actually attack the town Sorrel lives in within the first chapter um, and this leads Sorrel onto a journey to try and find her kidnapped brother and kidnapped love interest. Right off the bat I realised that the new dark was going to be full of YA tropes which left me feeling quite unimpressed straight away. In the first chapter we start with Sorrel sitting with David and fantasising about kissing him as he skins bats. And then there's a really great female v female rivalry straight away because they both fancy David, the guy who's skinning bats. It was off-putting straight away for me. I did not want to read any more about this romance as soon as I picked up the book. The New Doc does try to make some really good points about prejudice and racism within the story. The mutants are the ones that are being prejudiced against because they are being uh, killed or exiled and treated differently because they are mutants. The way it was written it didn't really help this point at all. Uh, the mutants were in fact actually really violent. Uh, they killed an entire village apart from the young which they then sold as slaves. The only mutant that is shown to be a good person is the one that Sorrel befriends while she is being held captive by the cult. It just wasn't well put together. Uh, another issue I had when reading this was I found out that the story is only set around 50 years after whatever event caused them to revert back to the medieval kind of ways they're living. Um, I also found it quite strange that Sorrel's village was so dark age kind of I'm gonna skin bats and build fires and live in the woods whereas a lot of other of these camps and villages we see on the way are a bit more advanced. Um, but 50 years isn't a long time and I definitely think some of the older generation would still remember before the events happened. Therefore they could pass down the knowledge which Sorrel's village seemed to be lacking about simple things like showers. Um, I just feel like 50 years in the future from now if something were to happen we would be trying to rebuild our lives as to how it was 50 years before. We wouldn't just be stuck uh, building campfires and showering in the river. Uh, the event that caused this change also was never explained which is why I'm just kind of stuck calling it an event. Uh, I have no idea why we are not we are in like a dystopian future where there's no technology. Um, it's just happened uh, which I think was a bit lacking. The main character Sorrel is also a bit of a disappointment. She's a very typical YA female heroine She's special for no reason at all. Um, three people in the book claim she's special because of a birthmark she has as it matches a symbol used before the event happened. So this is never explained, we're not explained what symbol it is or why it's important or why other people find it important enough to make Sorrel come help them. We just know that that's what makes her special, even though she herself is very plain and boring. Um, I found the book as a whole to be very fast paced throughout, so even though I was getting annoyed with things, I was just kind of ripping through the pages because it was um, really quick to read. I did however think that it did need a bit more character building, it needed more world building, it needed to focus less on tropes because I felt like someone had picked out all the different tropes they could think of, thrown them into a book and shook it up. I just think it needed a little bit more work than it had because the premise itself was actually really good and from the blurb I did originally think it was going to be a lot more interesting. Thanks guys for watching this and I hope to see you guys again soon.